Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Akanksha from Psychologic. This video discusses the Canon Bard theory. This video is part of a series focused on the topic of emotions. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So let's get into it. A great deal of physiological changes happen when we experience emotions. When we are excited, afraid or angry, these bodily changes might be relatively easy to note. All of you must have noted the increase in heart rate, throbbing temples, increased perspiration and trembling in your limbs when you are angry or excited about something. Sophisticated equipment has made it possible to measure the exact physiological changes that accompany emotions. Both the autonomic as well as the somatic nervous systems play important roles in the emotional process. The experience of emotions is a result of a series of neurophysiological activations in which the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the limbic system and the cerebral cortex are involved significantly. Individuals with extensive injury in these areas of the brain have been known to demonstrate impaired emotional abilities. A theory was proposed by Cannon in 1927 and Bard in 1934. The Cannon Bard theory claims that the entire process of emotion is mediated by the thalamus which after perception of emotion provoking stimulus conveys this information simultaneously to the cerebral cortex and to the skeletal muscles and the sympathetic nervous system. The cerebral cortex then determines the nature of the perceived stimulus by referring to past experiences. This determines the subjective experience of the emotion. At the same time, the sympathetic nervous system and the muscles provide physiological arousal and prepare the individual to take action. The autonomic nervous system is divided into two systems known as the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems. These two function together in a reciprocal manner. In a stressful situation, the sympathetic system prepares the body to face the situation. It strengthens the internal environment of the individual by controlling the heart rate, blood pressure and blood sugar, amongst others. It induces a state of physiological arousal that prepares an individual for the fight or flight response in order to face the stressful situation. As the threat is removed, the parasympathetic system gets activated and restores the balance by calming the body. It restores and conserves energy and brings the individual back to a normal state. The parasympathetic system is also known as the rest and digest system. Though acting in an antagonistic manner, the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems are complementary to each other in completing the process of experience and the expression of emotions. The Canon Bard theory might be applied by looking at any experience where you have an emotional reaction. For example, imagine that you are walking to your car through a darkened parking garage. 
you hear the sound of footsteps trailing behind you and you spot a shadowy figure slowly following you as you make your way to your car according to the canon bar theory of emotion you will experience feelings of fear and physical reaction at the same time you will begin to feel fearful and your heart will begin to race you rush to your car lock the doors behind you and rush out of the parking garage to head home so to recap the canon bar theory states that when an event occurs the thalamus sends simultaneous signals to the brain and to the autonomic nervous system so we experience the emotion and the physical reaction at the same time so that's it for today's video if you are looking for quality mental health resources please check out my etsy shop the link is provided in the description box below if you like the content of this video please like it and subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon so you are notified when the next video comes out as always thanks for watching